Starship is now in active preparation for its highly anticipated Flight 9. With the ultimate goal of achieving a successful mission, SpaceX is focusing on resolving the issues seen in the last two launches. Each step forward includes key upgrades designed to improve performance and reliability. One of the most notable recent developments involves B-14's hot staging system, which has received some surprising and important changes. So how exactly has SpaceX upgraded the hot staging ring? Let's break it down on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We all know that the last two Starship flights ended in explosions during the ship's return phase. SpaceX had previously explained that the root cause was related to issues observed on Flight 7, specifically a high level of harmonic vibration. These intense vibrations led to fuel leaks, which in turn caused pressure buildups and engine fires. Once the damage exceeded critical levels, multiple systems began to fail, especially the engines, ultimately causing the ship to lose control and explode. But a bigger question remains. What triggered the chain of failures in the first place? As discussed in a previous episode, many now believe that the hot staging ring, initially seen as a positive innovation during stage separation, may have actually played a central role in the ship's demise. Let's break this down. Hot staging allows the upper stage engines on the ship to ignite while the first stage, the booster, is still attached, enabling a smoother separation. However, this method creates a powerful blast of hot exhaust directly above the booster. In theory, the ring design should vent this exhaust safely, but in practice, not all of the heat and pressure was directed away as planned. Instead, some of it bounced back, creating what's known as back pressure and back shock. This shock wave hit critical systems on the ship, including the engines. This issue wasn't apparent in early versions like version 1, which included engine shielding. But in the updated V2 design, SpaceX removed these protections to reduce weight and streamline the structure. As a result, the engines were left more exposed to the violent effects of hot staging. That's when problems began to appear more evidently. The theory gained further credibility due to discrepancies between flight data and ground test results. Unlike actual launches, the ground tests did not simulate hot staging, so the negative effects weren't observed until real flights took place. Because of this, many expected that SpaceX would upgrade the hot staging system before Flight 9, and that's exactly what happened. On April 16th, a new version of the hot staging ring was seen being lifted into Mega Bay 1, clearly intended for B-14, which is assigned to the next flight. Visually, this ring shows clear changes from previous versions. It appears reinforced with the added material, and noticeably, it has fewer vent holes, particularly around the central section visible from our viewpoint. At first glance, it might seem like reducing vent holes would worsen back pressure, but there's a deeper logic at play here. Fewer vent holes mean fewer separate exhaust streams, which actually gives SpaceX more control over the behavior of the gas being expelled. By reducing and managing the number of venting paths, SpaceX can better direct the flow and intensity of the exhaust, minimizing turbulence and shock waves that would otherwise affect the ship's engine bay. This change not only benefits the ship, but also improves conditions for the booster. In earlier flights, Areas like the forward section of B-15 showed clear burn marks, indicating they had suffered from exposure to hot gas and debris. Similarly, the grid fins, essential for controlled landing, have shown signs of heat damage, sometimes even melting. Based on the new design, it's likely that the four symmetrical areas of the hot staging ring without vent holes align with the positions of the grid fins. This means they'll now be better shielded from the blast during separation, which is a big step toward achieving full reusability. On top of the functional benefits, the new ring simply looks more robust, and in a way, it has to be. Unlike engines and other systems that benefit from cryogenic fuel running through them, which helps cool things down, the hot staging ring sits right in the blast zone, with no built-in cooling or shielding. 
It absorbs a tremendous amount of heat and pressure in a very short time. So reinforcing it with additional material and simplifying its venting structure could significantly improve its durability and performance. Ultimately, this upgrade reflects SpaceX's commitment to rapid iteration and learning from past mistakes. Each new flight is not just a test, but a carefully crafted response to the last one. The hope is that these changes to the hot staging system will help ensure a smoother, more controlled separation process, reducing stress on both stages, and improving the chances for a successful mission. So what do you think? Will this hot staging upgrade make the difference on Flight 9? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to launch. Of course, while the recent upgrades to the hot staging ring are impressive, they do come with a trade-off, an increase in mass. And for a company like SpaceX, which constantly strives to reduce weight in every component to maximize efficiency and reusability, added mass is a significant concern. This issue becomes even more apparent when you consider how SpaceX currently handles hot staging. Because of the ring's added weight, the company has had to introduce a hot staging jettison step during the booster's return to Earth. In other words, the ring is discarded during descent to lighten the load, making the landing process easier and more energy efficient. While effective, this move compromises the goal of full reusability, which is one of Starship's defining ambitions. Ideally, the hot staging ring would return to Earth intact along with the booster without the need to jettison it mid-flight. But the increased mass from added reinforcements makes that goal harder to achieve. That's where a completely new version of the hot staging ring enters the conversation. One that was teased with the introduction of the V2 and V3 variants of Starship. This new concept draws inspiration from the Soviet-era N1 rocket, which also used a type of hot staging mechanism. The next generation ring is expected to bring a host of improvements that address many of the current version's shortcomings. The new design will feature a simpler and more streamlined structure, which will not only make it easier to build, but also simplify maintenance and refurbishment between flights. It's also expected to include more open vents. These will help dissipate heat and pressure more effectively, reducing the chance of back pressure or back shock damaging the engines. In addition, the new ring will likely be longer, giving more distance between the ship and the booster during separation and reducing the impact of engine ignition on both vehicles. A lighter design will also mean that it can remain attached during descent, supporting the goal of full reusability. Perhaps most importantly, this new design will further enhance one of hot staging's biggest advantages, its ability to simplify the separation mechanism while increasing Starship's payload capacity. Currently, hot staging increases payload capacity by about 10%, and the new design could improve that figure even more. However, we might not see this version implemented until a future booster variant is released. Current speculation points to Booster 18 as the potential first platform for this upgrade. Changes spotted in the ring stand and structural components suggest that B-18 may introduce significant design adjustments. This is further supported by the appearance of the B-17 test tank, which shows several experimental changes that hint at what's to come with B-18. As of now, B-17 is undergoing testing, and stacking of B-18 is expected to begin soon, possibly as early as May. As per SpaceX's typical development timeline, the hot staging ring for B-18 will likely appear after the booster completes its static fire test. This places the debut of the new ring sometime around July or August. Until then, the version of the hot staging ring seen on B-14 will continue to be the main focus of testing. With B-14 lined up for Flight 9 and additional boosters like B-16 and 17 already in the pipeline, SpaceX is planning several more missions using the current hot station configuration. In fact, there's even discussion about reflighting B-15 for Flight 11, which means we could see up to four consecutive flights, Flight 9 through Flight 12, utilizing this design. These flights will provide critical data. Each one offers an opportunity to validate the recent upgrades, identify remaining weaknesses, and refine the system further. Ultimately, these test campaigns will lay the groundwork for the next generation of hot staging rings, a version that's lighter, more effective, and fully reusable. And with each flight, SpaceX gets one step closer to achieving the high reliability and performance required for interplanetary missions and large-scale orbital operations. It's clear that, in addition to the systems that encountered issues during previous flights, hot staging is quickly becoming a central focus in SpaceX's ongoing Starship development. 
Among the most anticipated advancements is the newly upgraded hot staging ring on Booster 14. With its unique design changes, this version marks the first step in a series of innovations aimed at solving critical challenges exposed in earlier missions. The performance of this upgraded ring will soon be tested in upcoming flights, offering valuable insights into its effectiveness. However, these enhancements are not the final destination. SpaceX is committed to refining the hot staging system until it achieves both success and reliability. As the program evolves, we can expect the design of this crown to continue transforming. Each iteration helping the king of rockets ascend, separate cleanly, and return with the precision needed for full reusability. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.